volley clear. And Neil Swart takes the field from left to right towards the far side, and eventually it's worked back by Smith to. What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel and a return of the road to Wembley. I think this is game five. Yeah, I think this is game five. Um, today I'm at one of my local clubs. I'm at Bath City today for their home tie. It's the third qualifying round against Hemel Hempstead. So I believe, yeah, it's a National League South um, tie. Yeah, looking forward to it. I haven't been to Bath for a video since this probably this time last season when they got knocked out to Potter's Bar Town. Um, so hopefully this is going to be a slightly better game today. They did lose on penalties. I wouldn't mind. Well, no, there's not going to be penalties. You'll go to a replay. But hopefully some exciting things happening today. Won't be able to tell you guys what's going on yet, but hopefully in the near future. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go up and show you a really good view that I found of Bath City Stadium about six months ago when I came on a bike ride here. And then I think I'm going to go play Sabutio with some guys at a pub about 10 minute walk away. So it's currently half one, so I should have time. But yeah, let's go and I hope you enjoy the video. You can get the best photos from this place. And it's one of those places as well that you quite often see on the TV. If Bath go and get Man United at home in the third round, which you never know could happen. You will see people up here. It's amazing. This could go badly wrong. Yes. Look at that. No. I hope I didn't cause this. I've seen them use the photo though, so they, they clearly liked the photo, but they don't want people stood there. Can't really blame them, but gutted none the least. None the least, none the less. He'll be offside if you use him. Yeah. Not going to do a lot of that. Great touch. Great touch. And then you can put him up there. Do you know what? Your finest hour, I'm not sure if I caught it because I'm so engrossed. <laughs> This is a proper Premier League game, isn't it? Nil nil, shot. First nil on the break here. Is my go? Yeah, you can bend it or use it. No. <laughs> Safety first. Did you get any defensive? Yes, one. Yeah. Very good. 
He's offside. He can't be offside for three. <laughs> Bit timid. Nice. You're in. You're in. You're in. Sorry. No. Foul. Should we call it again? Yeah, yeah. call it a day then. Yeah, he's got, he's got some um, programs from the, the 80s, which are uh, What a ground. Absolute favourite of all non-league grounds, Bath City. Cracker. Brilliant experience as well playing Sabutio. Have gonna have to do that more often in the future. And hopefully I'll be able to. Kickoff time now, praying for a Bath win. Would love to see them do an FA Cup run for the first time in what seems like forever. I think they'll do it. I'm going to go for a 2 1 to Bath. Kevin, Kevin Amankwa, if I'm pronouncing that right, um, who played for Sutton against Arsenal, is playing today for Bath. So hopefully that's a good sign.
So guys, I hope you have enjoyed that matchday experience from Twerton Park, my favourite of all the non-league grounds that I've ever visited. Very, very good and comfortable win against Hemel Hempstead. So they are through to the fourth qualifying round, which will be drawn on Monday. I'm off work on Monday. I'm kind of tempted to do maybe a little stream of the draw. See how we get on. Might do that. Um, yeah, and another news, Poulton Rovers are also through. Um, they're the only other local team I know that are through to the fourth qualifying round. So you never know. Hopefully I will get a local non-league club in round one. I don't, can't remember the last time it happened. Just, I don't think it happened last year. But yeah, there we go. Hopefully it does happen. Yeah, that's, so that's five rounds done. Next up is in a fortnight's time on the 14th of October. So fingers crossed, decent tie is available and I can hopefully go to it. So if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like. If we get 200 likes, that would be fantastic. And I will see you next weekend for the Groundhog Weekend. That's a good point. If you're still here, let me know in the comments, just so I know how you actually hear this. But next weekend, it's the Groundhog Weekend where I'm potentially doing five or six or even seven games in one weekend. So keep your eye out for that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for updates on that and some other things as well. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care.